Hi everyone, so welcome back to another video wherein we'll talk about what happened in today's trade and also look at what is the data telling us, right? So in today's trade, the broader market did very well. So when I say broader market, I am talking about the small and the mid cap stocks, right? So if you look at the small cap stocks, they were up almost half a percent and the mid caps were up almost one percent. Although the nifty was down half a percent, uh, this is majorly because we have a monthly expiry which is also a financial year end expiry as well due to which there might be uh, the, because in nifty what happens the fis and dis who are like the big guys they kind of play and if they are opposing each other like that is if the fis are selling and let's say the dis are buying so there won't be too much movement until one is like very strong and pushes the nifty in that particular direction so uh, leaving aside nifty what we can say is the broader market saw very good accumulation also today i'll show you the chart and also with that there was an up move in the market right especially in the in the indices so if you look at the accumulation the accumulation moved up quite a much uh, quite a bit so if you look at it around uh, 60 70 80 levels we were but uh, today it is almost touching 150 so on that panic day we crossed 200 but something like 150 is very strong so two things for this this can be like ELSS that is people during a march and right what they do is kind of put money in uh, AT so they can show this as a direction in uh, ATC right so they kind of save money and then they push it in the ELSS scheme so because those guys are getting so much money they might have also pushed it into the market which is a good thing right so if let's say for the next couple of days the data is pretty good we can expect some kind of a decent up move in the small and the mid cap index as well so we were already of that opinion that there is going to be a 19 percent rally after the previous accumulation that happened if you go through my previous videos also you will understand that uh, with the data and the charts right it was very clear that we were going to go higher right so in today's this thing it is more or less a confirmation that we are heading much higher from the current levels right so even the mid cap index if you look at it so that kind of moved up quite handsomely and it is uh, we don't know whether it is going to make another shoulder it can even take out its all-time high as well if let's say the funds keep flowing in it can even take out that all-time high but that looks a little difficult because of what the SEBI has told them that right so let's wait and see how the data plays out and also what the charts will tell us so it is the main thing is it is very difficult to just look at the chart and candles and kind of make a sense right because when this breakdown happened people would have just panicked and sold right but the data was telling otherwise so now if when it is moving up or let's say when it is sideways if let's say the data tells us that the big guys are selling then we also kind of book out right so only candlesticks will not help you because everyone is seeing the same candlesticks or let's say the price movement so only charts will not give you the full picture when you combine the charts with the data that is when you become like better at it so you exactly know what is coming right you exactly know what we can expect from this particular uh, index or even that particular stock right so this is what i wanted to tell you for today probably the accumulation data continues in to improve or, or uh, let's say it is around the same levels in the coming days then definitely there is going to be a decent up move right so i'll come out with another video tomorrow after uh, tomorrow's uh, trading session hope this particular thing helps right so very good data looks like we are up for a pretty decent movement in, in the month of april as well